Hello everyone, Stu and Andy here at now empty Portman Road, floodlights off, Ipswich Town 1, Lincoln City 1, Paul Cook's first home game ends with a draw and all in all that was probably about the right result Andy, do you think? Yeah I think so, um, it's not been the, the grandstand start to life under Paul Cook that we all hoped for with the, the big bounce and jumping further up the table but given where Ipswich Town were a month ago, um, we're kind of here now slightly underwhelmed and, and disappointed maybe with a, a point at home to Lincoln with aspects of the performance and to think about it really in the context of a promotion race that Ipswich are now in the thick of um, I think a point here against Lincoln when they weren't at their best is a pretty positive thing really Stu it's, it's things have turned around quite quickly for Ipswich here they're in a decent position a point off the playoffs after tonight plenty to work on of course but I still feel quite positive about it I don't know how you feel. Um, how do I feel about tonight? It's another game that they've gone behind in. I thought they deserved to be behind at half time. It was a really good goal from Morgan Rogers. Took the ball on his chest halfway, but then was given acres of space to stroll into, really. He wasn't under enough pressure. Yes, he chopped inside well. Yes, it was a really good whipped finish uh, in, into the far corner of the net. But I thought Lincoln looked the sharper, more dangerous side in, in the first half. Um, after Ipswich had started reasonably well, you can see they're trying to do what Paul Cook's asking of them, get higher, press higher, be braver. They just weren't really able to carry that out. Lincoln's second half, I, I thought they really sat off and it was almost like they were looking to sit on their 1-0 their lead. Ipswich had all of the ball, but it was the same old deficiencies that we've seen all season from this side. They can have lots of the ball but it just fizzles out when it gets to the final third and the quality, the ideas, whatever it is, it just doesn't lead to chances and um, never really looked like scoring from open play today and it's another set piece. I think that's six set piece goals in a row now, scored over the last four games. Um, Dazelle lofts a deep free kick into the box. Chambers with the towering knockdown and Wilson generates a really good bit of power on his header to, to find the bottom corner and that ultimately got them a point. Um, Paul Cook, and another pretty honest assessment afterwards, wasn't it? Uh, you're the man to talk about that. <laughs> you, you spoke to him. Yeah, it's, um, Paul was very honest about it in the same way he was Saturday. Um, was, was a little bit more scathing about the Gillingham game a, a few days on. Just said that um, they only had to turn up and get changed today for it to be an improvement on, on the Lincoln game. This was a step in the right direction tonight, um, but he knows that they're not creating enough chances, and I think. What, what fills me with the most heart is that this is a manager who understands the deficiencies in this side. Um, whether they'll get time to to turn that around, we'll, we'll see. Because what are we now, 15 games left? Four, 14? 14. That are going to be played in a pretty quick period yeah. of time. So it's whether he can turn this around in this season or whether it's, it's going to be a, a slightly longer term project. Yeah, I think, I think the thing that fills me with a, a bit of heart is that, like, like I was saying at the start, it's start, I'm not going to use the term green shoots. I'm not, going to, I'm not <laughs> going to use it, I promise. But I'm starting to see, it's, it's clear what he wants and I don't think what he wants is anything too, too dramatic from these players. Maybe there's a sense that changing little nuts and bolts here and there could be problematic but in terms of the big themes it, it's about being brave about pushing up it's about filling space and, and being adventurous on the front foot I think this team are capable capable of it um, it didn't click tonight James Norwood wasn't the same James Norwood that we've seen over the last few weeks was he the, the combative um, harass, harassing nature of him the rugged striker wasn't wasn't there and I think that was a big reason why, why Ipswich weren't the team we've seen a bit more of over the last few weeks in the final third that could come back maybe maybe he needs a bit of a rest I don't know maybe maybe he's a, he's a little tired um, but there was there was some signs in there I'm not I'm not trying I'm not getting too carried away um, but I think I think Teddy Bishop's really going to enjoy playing in this in this Ipswich Town team I think there were signs that Luke Chambers has got a bit of a bounce back in this in this Ipswich Town team, and in the first ten minutes, I really liked what I saw from Guion Edwards, but it it just sadly didn't didn't last. There there are signs there, and 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 that's why a point 
feels positive yeah. to me. Positives to take from this. Bishop, you mentioned his, his dancing feet were back tonight. He was beating people for for fun with the ball glued to his feet in that more advanced position that suits him. I thought Kenlock looked good again at, at left back, very adventurous. He's, he's someone that's going to enjoy the, the Paul Cook way of playing. James Wilson again carried the ball out of the back really well, got his goal. So um, things to like without going overboard. And um, we move on to another home game on Saturday against Plymouth. Um, and we'll be there to speak to you after that one.